Well, for today's adventure, we're going to Mopar, Mopar Days at Mason Dixon Dragway in, uh, I want to say Boonesboro, Maryland, but it's right next to Boonesboro, Maryland, I couldn't even tell you. And we're taking this. Yeah, we're going to take this up. We're going to run it. What do you think? So, I cleaned it up the best I could. It's tough to clean up vehicles when you get old. Can't get it going. Get on the ground, can't even clean the wheels. <laughs> Hardly, because you can't get back up. But, decided to keep the wheel players on there for a little while. I may color match them here soon. Or I might find a set of the OEM ones that you see on some of the trucks. They're smooth. I like that better. But anyway, i got a buddy named Calvin racing his dart today. And some other fools up there, just like me, are going to have fun today. Let's get with it. So we made it, got registered. A lot of bad rides up here today. Mine's ready, just gonna run it for the hell of it. Boys I'm hanging out with today. Mr. Calvin Barker, his dart has been stolen by his two boys that are riding around out here somewhere. I'll try to show you the cleanest, baddest dart around. So we made it in line for sportsman's class. This is a street class mostly. There's a two door short bed ram right behind me. White one. Chick driving it. I got a Challenger right beside me. I'm really curious what I can run beside a Challenger. I believe it's a 5.7. Pretty car though. But look. I didn't get to get Calvin's first run because by the time I realized Calvin was running I was like, that's my class. I had to run to my truck and get it in line. But that's where we're set right now. I'm hoping that I can get down here and get somebody to take my video for me or take a video for me and send it to me. But as we go, as we go, I'll show you how it happens. So we ran a 14-4917. Better than I thought. First run out. It's nice.
enjoying this show back here. And that's what it's all about.
I'll let you know. Hopefully, I got people that will videotape this for me. Maybe. Try to get my buddy to do this for me. I need to call him real quick, so I'll put you all on hold. So, this is the difference. My first run was a 14 4 at 93 miles an hour. That was with traction control. My second one was a 14.5 at 93 with without traction control. So that was my two my two uh, runs I'm going to do. I'm going to dial in a 14.5. 14.5. Actually, I'm uh, yeah I'm going to dial in a 14.4. That way, if I run a little bit over, I'll be good. If I run a little bit, uh, yeah. So we'll figure it out as we go along. But that was my second one. Walking out of the pits, ran a fourteen seven. The guy beside me ran a lot faster. I won the first round. Well, I forgot to turn my traction control back off. I thought that was it. When he came by me so fast in the other lane, I'm like, thumbs up. He ran under, but. It all worked out just fine. I'm gonna go up here, me and old, gotta go visit the restroom, get a drink, and get back out here. Thanks for watching. So just for a recap, I went to the strip. The last run shook really bad, it started spinning. I ran a 16 something, I was supposed to be running a 14. So I lost the second round, but one first round. My lowest was a 14. Four seven, and that was the day. That was in a stock 2022 Ram 5.7 two door short bed, no power windows, no power anything. Sitting on 20 by 12s. <sighs> it was a good day. I made it home. Truck sitting outside. Started raining on the way home, so it was nice and clean. It's not so clean now, but it's home and it's parked. And that's it for today. Stick around and we'll do this again sometime. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.